Hello everyone, this is Hot SD here, and today we are going to be reacting to Camp Camp Scene 3, Episode 7. Cameron Campbell, the Camp Campbell C Camper? I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, it's so Cameron Campbell, the Camp Campbell Camper. Oh, that's a mouthful. I thought last week was a mouthful. These titles are just getting longer and longer. His mouth is like, hmm, how can we screw up these titles and make the reactors go like, how do I say that again? <laughs> oh, man. Last week was just fun, right? Last week was fun. I really did enjoy last week. It was pretty much all over the place, but I think that was meant to be the way that it was. It was pretty much meant to be all over the place, right? It was pretty much meant to be like that. But I really did not like the episode. Um, we're going to see an emotion... Uh, from Neil this time around with him getting in love with someone else. I uh, can't remember her name. But we found out that she has difficult eyes, which I thought was really cool, actually. I was like, why do you hide it? It's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> I guess with appearance and such like that, teenagers like that usually um, aren't confident really that much in those types. But now she's probably going to like that for the rest of the show which i actually really liked i i, I actually really liked that that was nice um of course gwen was just like i gotta make sure everything goes right as planned or it's all gonna screw up even though it screws up by itself because she's the one that kind of caused it all happening like like this whole love triangle stuff going on that was oops <laughs> everything was just going wrong in the same way it was a little it was really fun, especially that ending with um, Gwen dancing with that one kid. Oh, God, I can't remember his name. Uh, the one that everyone is like, eh. really, you know what I'm talking about with that one kid. I can't remember his name. Fuck. I, I can't remember his name, but he, her, Gwen and him was both crowned king and queen and they had to do like little games for five minutes and everyone was just like <laughs> everyone was just having like a fun time seeing Gwen act like this it was hilarious <laughs> I actually kind of wanted to see the full thing and it's like <laughs> uh, Gwen's just like disturbed for the rest of her life after that uh, so yeah let's with the title I'm like I wonder who is coming back right <laughs> Cameron's gonna show up. I knew it was gonna be some point during the season that he was gonna show up, but he, it was gonna be at some point during this season he was gonna show up again. Uh, a couple episodes ago, we got a tease from him that he's gonna be coming back and try to mess with David, try to get him into Super Guantanamo. And I wonder if he's actually gonna do it, right? Because technically, he is right. David was kind of the one who started this whole thing, even though he's kind of taking the blame on David, even though he was like, oh yeah, this boy, I can do this. Like, hmm, not a bad idea. <laughs> Doing it for his own personal gain and stuff like that. And when it, I always knew Cameron was kind of an asshole, when he didn't really care for much, but this is like taking it to like the next level stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get ready to react to episode seven in three, two, one, play. What do we if we're gonna start off with Cameron? Oh, thousand four hundred ninety-nine, fifteen hundred lanyards. Great lanyards? Job, guys. Why are you making Great lanyards job, for? Guys. You can never have too many lanyards. What the? F I'm pretty sure we crossed that bridge one thousand four hundred ninety-nine <laughs> lanyards ago. Well, Jesus, I one thousand. Special Camp Campbell camper who's getting into the lanyard spirit. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, coming. seriously, how do you all not yeah. figure it out? It is coming together quite nicely, isn't it? You do realize that's just Cameron Cameron yeah. disguised as a kid. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not? That new kid really fucking loves lanyards. <laughs> it was like, even Gwen is like, no, it's just Cameron. Yeah, it's just Cameron. <laughs> but I think that was just true. Can Cameron is the place for me and you? Some 
Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I still can't believe Mr. Campbell is back! They must have let him out of school. Even he knows. Yup, he knows it. And so he decided to pose as a camper at his own camp? David, why? No sense. Exactly. Why Stupid. Gee, I don't know. Maybe for reasons that only benefit him and totally screw us over. Yeah, I wonder that why. Sound like the Cameron Campbell I know at all. Well, would the Cameron Campbell you know pretend to be a gargantuan child? He would if <gasps> he secretly wants to see how well we're running the camp without him. No. This is all a test, like that one show you watch where the bosses disguise themselves as workers to trick everybody. You mean you that your boss? That's it. I'll show Cameron Campbell the best darn day of camp he's ever oh seen. Oh my god, that's not what he's doing, you idiot. I've infiltrated the camp and nobody suspects a thing. Nope, he did, they don't now we just need you to get this David to confess on tape. <laughs> or your ass is going back to the minimum security wing of Super Ayo, Super No, please, the wing. time there is so unstructured. And the guards don't beat you. They just tell you how disappointed they are in you. Damn, he was bad, man. He needs to admit to masterminding the Camp Campbell scam. And he will, because oh, that is exactly God. what happened. We'll bring that lowlife Davy to justice. And I'll get my revenge on him for stabbing me in the back. Why, hello there. What are you up to? Why, nothing, Mr. Davy. So, Sam Boy Kidwell. I was thinking we should take he, the rest even of the he knows it's Cameron. Like he, he can't even fool David. <laughs> this camp's it's so obvious, it's Cameron. Right <laughs> Come on. Ooh, tell me more. And while we're on the way, could you speak more loudly into my ascot? So oh. does anything catch your eye? You know what I would really love is an activity where we could. Act like we're different people and say things that aren't real, but pretend like they are? Is there a stupid camp for whatever that is? Sounds like someone is interested in attending my- Oh no, seminar. what the hell? Yes. Did he actually exactly think of I that? Are you serious? <laughs> on, Davey. Finally! Someone who appreciates the arts! <laughs> no, he doesn't at all. Hearts, Sorry. We've entered a magic realm controlled by wizard dogs. <laughs> No, I think instead of the wizard dogs, we are simply in an everyday situation with a ridiculous twist. Damn. <laughs> you fools are breaking the fundamental yeah. rules of improv! Instead of saying, no, but, try saying, yes, and. Dope! Why don't you give it a try with our newcomer? I think the prompt Sam oh, wrote will boy. do nicely. One of you is confessing your greatest crimes. Oh, God. Of course this is what it is. <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> Could I have a different partner? Uh, nope. How about, Sorry. Uh, yes, Davy. I don't know, Sam boy. I'm not sure I'd be any help. David. Yes, and. Oh, all right. Let's Oops. do it. It's time for your Careful. confession, criminal. So, a camp for every type of camper. This shady but brilliant operation sure sounds like an illegal scam to me. Oh, he's what? good. <laughs> yes, and I oh had a super God. fun time doing all the illegal things. Oops. Uh, yes. Those illegal things include guys. fraud, money laundering, child endangerment, the illegal sale of platypus eggs, and a bunch of other things that have nothing <laughs> to do with the... Oh, I went in with the uh, platypus eggs. I think that was season one, right? Edition. Yes, and one time I even... um. Stole a whole bunch of puppies. Oh no! To boot, I told you he was a monster. All right, you tragically misunderstood genius. One oh last God. question: <laughs> Did you pin all of this on your mentor, the totally innocent Cameron Campbell? I'm gonna say yes. Back, back. Oh, of course. Oh, We're here with this traffic puppy to save our friend. Oh my like god, seriously. <laughs> Ooh, plot twist. Stop it! You're ruining my touch, Sam Boy! Yes, and No! We were getting to the most important part, you twitchy little <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> and scene. Why don't we break for lunch? Yeah, probably for the best.
So, are you guys going to come extract me now, or what? That was a pretty good confession, if I do say so myself. You're gonna have to do better than that, Campbell. I couldn't hear anything over that damn dog. Damn! What am I supposed to do? Those idiot kids ruined the confession! If this Davy is truly as bad as you say, then surely the campers must have heard something. Yeah, True. See yeah, if you can pick exactly. up some gossip. But how do I get them to gossip about something that isn't true? I know. I'll start a rumor about Davy's evil deeds. Oh, All I have to do God. is report some yeah. dumb You really think, well, they are kind of stupid enough to actually believe it, but still. And I'm scot free! <laughs> I don't think it's all that easy. Campbell? Damn. We lost the signal. Oh do you want to see how fast we can load our guns? This is why I married you. So, what would you like to do next for your perfect day of camp, little camper? <laughs> you know, I feel like making new friends could help me oh, build more at home here. Oh, David. Like, he's the like going, going all in on this, no, and he doesn't even expect a thing that... that, 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 that Maybe he might know who I, who I am. <laughs> description. You kids play nice now. Oh, God. Ahoy, hoy, bully, the cool one, and girl Neil. How's lunch? Hey, you're Go, a huge Neil. new kid. No, I'm not. I'm completely normal sized like the rest of you. It's okay, Sandboy Kidwell. I, too, am cursed with being overly large for my age. Do you kids know what I've heard about your precious counselor, Mr. David? Oh, Rumor has it that he... I'm gonna stop you right there. As a bully, I take great pride in tormenting others for their shortcomings. But I, for one, will not add to the fake news plaguing us. Damn! <laughs> what kind of bully are you? What do you think? Wanna hear the word on the street? Uh, not from someone who uses the phrase word on Damn, the street. Damn, get back. <laughs> this kid's built like a bear! It's like a playground up in here. Okay, let's focus. Once you hear this <laughs> sick gasp, you'll be dying to tell. Sorry, my spaghetti and mystery meatballs are not sitting well. Oh Thank you boy, again. that's not good. You Besides, might want to please no get rumor is going to make David even more uncool. <laughs> oh, wait, you guys are missing out on some juicy deets. Can you show me how to grow a mustache? <laughs> Nikki, my lord. Think, Campbell, think. <laughs> It's only a matter of time before the suits get suspicious. Done. You are so good at this. There's got to be someone here I can still break through to. Oh, God. Troublemakers, yes. eh? Yeah. They hate this camp more than anybody. Hey, Sam boy. Have you decided on your afternoon camptivity? Yes. I'd like to hang out with those two. Really? Or we could do something else. <laughs> I'm not sure what I call you mean you know that's fine. That's the best idea. Maybe you're right. I'd have a much better time doing my favorite thing in the world, which is mannequin selfie carving. Okay. Mannequin selfie I'll carving. No way. Great. You do that. Oh look, Neil. It's that new kid, Samboy Kidwell. Well, hello, Samboy. Quiet, you. I know a left dog when I see one. What? That's preposterous. Me and Max are totally a team. You're right, Neil. You are way too smart to be a lap dog. Damn. Well, speaking of smarts, why don't you run along and find those fuses? I don't think I'd even know what to look for. You've got it, Max. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm impressed. Always nice to see another skilled manipulator in their element. You're still a little rough around the edges, but hey, you're just a kid. That's quite a compliment, coming from the infamous Cameron Campbell. Oh, damn. Guys, then. Get wrecked. Okay, let's put all the cards on the table. I need to untangle myself from this fraudulent camp. If I can prove the whole scam is David's fault, I'll gain my freedom. And you want me to help you? Why should I do that? Because you're nothing like the rest Max, of Max, please we don't do it, man. Kid, to live by our own rules. Wow, you've got me all figured out. So, what do you say? Oh, I'd love to. And I know just the thing that'll help you. Uh, he, he's going to mess him up. Away. <laughs> Damn. You see, the wrist movement. Gosh, Mr. Campbell. While we're trying to frame David for your crimes, you should also blame him for those shady deals with Russia, Thailand, North Korea, and Kentucky. Oh, oh give me boy! Right. <laughs> yeah, and you could probably get him in trouble for covering up the fact that some kid died in the campgrounds. All oh, season. no! But, huh, that happened when you were in charge here. 
Didn't it? Oh, what did he just say? Yeah. Oh, no. What did you? Oh my oh, God! No, what you did you do? Oh, I turned on your microphone <laughs> because I thought we were already starting. Did your friends on the other oh, end not know about no. all the other stuff? Oh, you Gee, I'm so sorry, Mr. Campbell. I guess I'm not you so rough around the edges after all. Now, huh? Are you little. You were supposed to frame David. Is that really true, Mr. Campbell? Oh, you only no. came back to get me in trouble. Because this stupid camp for everybody idea was yours in the first place. All of it is your fault. I tried to create the perfect day of camp for you and everything. But your yeah. goal was to hurt me. Oh, because of something I said when I was just a kid. Just a bad, kid? Man. Kids are diabolical monstrosities that drive you to the you, brink man. of insanity. After everything I've done for you, you chose a bunch of kids over me. But that's, that's the job. Yeah, you really don't get that, do you? David, seriously? You actually feel sorry for this? <laughs> this doesn't piss you off? I'm not peed off, Max. I'm just. <gasps> don't say it. Disappointed. Damn. <laughs> get Max, dude. <laughs> wow. That is the fastest I've ever seen this place break a new kid. <laughs> seriously, you actually thought. Hey, everyone. We can't let this perfectly good mannequin go to waste. First of the activities <laughs> field gets two high fives. <laughs> Max, thank you. I could have been taking Mr. Campbell's place at Super Guantanamo. Oh, yeah, shucks, that one it was really nothing, bad. David. There's no need to thank me or give me, I don't know, an extra helping of dessert tonight or anything. <laughs> you know what? That's a great idea. We can just give you Sam boys. You know, Max, camp's not for everybody. Not yeah. even the great Cameron Campbell, apparently. But despite everything we've been through this summer, you're still here. <laughs> I'm glad that you're here. That's all that matters, huh? Even if he's not. <laughs> Damn. Cut out. I run this fucking camp. <laughs> I don't want to grow up. I, I really like that kids. episode. I really did. I knew it was all going to turn out well in the end. I knew Max wasn't going to fall for it. Like, he knew exactly what to do. And then, like, as soon as he's like, Oh, you have great masking manipulator. That should have clicked you a little bit, Kevin. That should have clicked you a little bit. Like, you fell right for his trap, right? And it got you framed. You know, you, you confessed all of your crimes right there. You know, and... Um, thankfully, David wasn't there for the part where um, he killed a kid. Because I think that would have been the time where the mess would have probably told him Oh, uh, the ghost guy. Ghost kid. I really did like this episode a whole lot. I really did. It was a really... It was a really nice episode, you know? I knew everything was... Like I said before, I knew everything was going to go out well. I kind of figured they weren't going to send David off to Super Guantanamo. But I'm also getting the feeling they aren't quite done with Cameron yet. And I'm guessing... Even David knew that it was Cameron. It was like, Cameron, you seriously think that he's that stupid? Right? Even he knew that was you the entire time. It was completely obvious that was you. you did not do that great with this guy. Like, at all. It was pretty much... Pretty much this episode was Cameron trying to frame David and that completely failed, right? And now Cameron has confessed every single one of his crimes, right? Thanks to Max. He confessed every single one that he did all of those but was going to frame David with them, right? And little boy Max turned on the radio because he knew exactly what was happening, right? And... Yeah, I really, I really like that episode. It was like as soon as like something like, oh, you screwed up now. Like you really did screw up, Mr. Cameron. Mr. Campbell, you really did screw up, buddy. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he shows up again, but maybe a little bit, a couple episodes down the line. I don't think immediately, right? They're probably not going to show him right away again. It'll be a while before they do that. Maybe like in the season finale movie um when max said at the end it's like i won this camp right you know what he kind of does but not really um 
because he does do a lot of stuff that happens with the story and everything else. So he's a big plot device that happens with these kind of stuff. And in a way, he is kind of right that he does kind of run the camp a little bit, but not not directly. Um, I still really, even though David found out about Cameron and his true motivation and everything else, he still did it for the camp. And I think I can appreciate that, right? Because he used to be, like, a big fan of Cameron Campbell, right, at the beginning of the show. And now he is pretty much given up on that because he found out the truth. He was just there to frame him. And then the Super Bowl caught him all, right? That was his plan to do so, and it disappointed him, really. He didn't get pissed off or anything. He was just disappointed, right? David is not that, well, in a way, he did kind of get pissed off on one point in season two's for now. I think it was either season two or season one's for now that he did get kind of like ticked off because someone fucking has to is what he said, at least at some point. Like someone has, and that kind of led to this moment here. So he kept that big motivator for him is to save the camp, no matter what, even if Cameron is trying to get rid of it, right? So, yeah, this has been Hunt SC here. Let me tell you a like, comment, and subscribe for streams like these. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.